video viewers, I'll, I'll have to watch it. Ed Aussie Fifties live stream. He mentioned, yeah, you could use one of these as a capacitor. I mean, the theory it should work in theory. You got some uh, metal foil, acrylic dielectric plates. I'm just going to put a tin plate over the top of that and wrap it in foil and put maybe another tin plate in the bottom. We'll see what happens. It should work in theory, so. I've got to follow some tin sheet, just metal plates with the one for the, for the um, each side of the uh, stack. I put one on the bottom, maybe have a lead that come out. I go on the bottom, then we go down, a plate will come out with a lead at the top. So we have two connections. So I'm going to try and find some or cut some steel plate or tin sheet to fit over that. These are just random CDs. I bought this brand from uh, Sanity. Thought they would be good, but they only work about a quarter of the way. No matter what uh, burning software I use, I get to about this far through the disc. And it says, uh, yeah, there's, um, CDs won't burn. There's a structural failure. I've tried all different recorders, all different software, and these are definitely dud CDRs. Definitely dud. So, I might as well put them to good use. Okay, if you always got one steel plate under there, here's the other here's the other plate. I'll make a connection now, put a hole under there, put a connection under this plate, put the CDs on, clamp the plates down and see what happens. Okay, if you always I cut a tiny little slot on the lid. I cut it had a little um one of those little uh, washer type uh, spade terminals. I cut a slot, cut a slot in the nine of the lid and soldered it. Perfect. That'd be my bottom plate, so that would go through the hole there. And that's my uh, bottom plate. I'll do the same with that for the top. Worked out quite well, that. Quite happy with that. Okay, viewers, we're done. There's a top plate. There's a bottom plate sandwiched under there. Perfect. Let's NST it and see what happens. There might be a little more to it, but we'll see how this works out. Okay, here was time for a test. I got the 10kV NST on this time. Let's give it a test on a 10kV one. And it does work, not very effective, but it works. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, the plates are too wide apart. Yeah, it works. Very small though. Where's that arc? Here we are. Alright, let's try to try the 12 K V and ST. Plates are too far apart. So the set is probably um yeah, it depends on the size of the plates. Alright, let's try the other NST. 12kV NST. Yeah. The plates might be too far apart. But it works nonetheless. Hello viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.